Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my 30 week update for my pregnancy journey. I cannot believe that I'm 30 weeks pregnant already. Like, where did time go? And oh, today the groundhog did not see his shadow, so we will be getting spring early. Um, but anyways, I'll get right into it. I actually wanted to share with you guys, I have a new app that I am so enjoying. So if you are barely pregnant, or let's say you are you are pregnant like as far as me, or whatever pregnancy you're going through, um, this app is called Nurture. It looks like this. It's that little green one. Um, and when you open it, this app is like so helpful. Like it tells you everything it gives you all the information and you can do your logs like when you go to the hospital you type in your medical log everything that happened at the visit it tells you about how much water you drank and how much more you need it tells you everything like that you have questions about it tells you how far how like big your baby is so right now it says my baby is the size of a cabbage so that's how big little baby is and it tells me 70 more days to go um so the baby is let me see two point nine pounds and fifteen point seven inches so that's how big the baby should be um what it's giving me an estimate and today is actually 30 weeks in one day so i'm actually doing a pregnancy vlog caught up like on the exact day but anyways this app is so fun and um very knowledgeable i love it that's if you guys wanted to see it again but um yeah it's called nurture uh, i don't it's free i don't know what i have android i'm not android i have um galaxy so this is it's free on galaxy Okay, sorry, my battery died. I had to replace them. But anyways, I'll get right into the video so it doesn't be too long. But I should update you guys on my health. My asthma has, uh, I should say, increased high. I have to do two pumps. I'm taking one pump every day no matter if I feel good or not. It's called q -bar. I have to take two pumps of that every single day so that way I could lessen in my albuterol because albuterol is really strong for people that don't know or don't have asthma. It is super strong and I've been taking that three times a day and that's not good. So that's how bad my asthma has increased so the doctor put me on this every day pump so that way I can increase the um, decrease the amount of albuterol that I use. So that's that on that health. Another one is I am supposed to be on bed rest, which means I cannot drive anymore. I cannot be going out shopping. I can't be on my feet for so long. Um, not strict bed rest where I'm just in bed. Just he doesn't want me doing all the stuff that I just named. So that's another thing because my contractions have become really high and he is wanting to come out sooner than what he's supposed to um, so in order for me to keep him safe and stay in the tummy I need to follow doctor's orders and I have brought up my amount of water that I'm drinking so I'm supposed to be drinking six to eight glasses of water um, he said probably even more but um because I get dehydrated fast but uh, anyways that's part of the health issue um, other other than that the baby is super fine he is growing as fast as he's supposed to he's healthy he his heart rate is uh, perfect he moves and kicks like there's no tomorrow and I've been promising you guys a footage clip and I actually have it so I'm super excited to show you guys that um, I don't know, I'll put it like, I'll, start, I'll show you guys while I'm talking, so, but as you guys can see, he is super, super active. He, um, he just moves a lot. It's so funny because Naraya never moved that much, so I'm actually in love with feeling his kicks, his moves, and I feel like he moves his position a lot as well. But anyways, um, that's on baby. Baby, 
So, uh, we are in February, so as you guys can tell my background, I thought it was pretty cute. I also did another video that required this background. But anyway, my baby shower is in three weeks, or two weeks, two weeks. So I'm super excited. Um, I cannot wait. I feel like everything has been pulled together and it's going to come along super well. Like. I'm excited. Uh, the baby got his godparents ready because he is going to be dedicated to the Lord. Um, I'm super excited about that. Naraya was as well. I feel so bad that I don't have a footage of it. I just have pictures, but um, I guess that always happens no matter what, like how many kids you have, you're always going to do something different with them. But um, I am sorry to my baby. I'm sorry, Naraya. Um, but anyways. We are getting things prepared. I am spring cleaning because I don't want to have to do that while he's here. Um, you guys probably already know that from watching my vlogs. I did grow more and I gained about two pounds from my weight. And so I'm not pretty happy about that. I mean, the doctor says it's fine. I just, my total weight gain amount is 36 pounds. Um, that I'm trying to stick at and that the doctor recommend for my height and my post baby weight. So, um, and I'm already at 140. So, uh, 20 or 10 more pounds and I'll be over what I want to be. So, uh, I'm trying to like just eat healthy and not eat so much because to be honest, he, this baby has been making me crave so much stuff. I shouldn't say this baby, this pregnancy. Um, has been making me crave so much things and I have been wanting to eat like crazy so I have been limiting that and drinking a lot of water also I'm taking walks uh, when it's not rainy or cold and doing squats I'm doing Kegel exercises and uh, also I'm um, I'm just like moving around a little bit more because I just I don't want to gain more weight than what I have my expe my expectation for and this is not for everyone this is just for me so don't think that I'm trying to tell everybody what they need to do this is just for me I'm trying to make myself at a weight limit that I want so yeah that's pretty much that on that so 30 weeks to be honest um, my lungs everything I'm just I feel squished I feel tired I'm super lazy like I'm tired all the time I'm I'm in pain at nighttime like, I feel like I need to go in every night, so I've just been calling my doctor, and pretty much my doctor is my BFF. I call him all the time. Um, just, I want to make sure nothing happens. I I am a high-risk pregnancy. I was a high-risk with Naraya. All my pregnancies are going to be high-risk, so um, there's nothing that I can do about it. Some women are just like that. You just got to be really careful and cautious, so that's what I've been doing. But, um... Yeah, I really don't know what else to update you guys on. I feel like this was pretty much it. Um, I can show you guys my belly and stuff like that. I don't have an ultrasound to show you. I don't know if he's going to give me an ultrasound. I really want one though. So I think my next appointment that I'm going to go in on Friday, I'm going to ask him if he can give me an ultrasound so I can update you guys on how he looks. And also, I want to see how he looks. Like, I'm sure he looks totally different from the last ultrasound. Um... I'm blabbing. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, I'm so irritated because his name is Noah Elias. That's what I picked out. That's what I told everyone. And that's what I love. But my husband, he loved it too. He loved it. And all of a sudden, like, now he's telling me that he didn't like it. He just wanted me to be happy. So, he just doesn't want his first name to be Noah. Um, he says there's too much Noahs. And he would like his name to be a little bit more unique like Naraya's because there's not really much Naraya's you don't really hear often and so I'm just like why didn't you tell me that before like I got excited and started planning a lot of stuff so I'm kind of bummed I'm not too sure if I'm going to change it or not um I told him if I do change it the only thing I'm changing is going to do a swap so his first name would be Elias so it would be Elias Noah um that's the only way that I'll change it but I really just am like I was so excited about it. I planned things according to his name. 
But um, I want my husband and I to be in agreement. We were in agreement for Naraya, and I want us to be in agreement for him as well. So if you guys hear me say baby instead of Noah, that's why um, we're not in agreement now when I thought we were. So that's depressing and makes me mad because I'm so far along and he's almost here. Plus his baby shower. I'm, it's like... Why do you choose the last minute to tell me? But anyways, I'll let you guys know in my vlogs if I changed it or not. You guys are not going to be left out and know by the time he's born. I'll tell you guys right away. Um, so here is this belly shot way for this side. Here is the front way. Or should I do it this way because my ring? A lot of people were telling me that I need to do my this hand on the top. And then, I should do it that way, right? So now it's this way. And here's up. Sorry if it looks dry. I forgot to put lotion on. Here's this way. He's like super popped out, if you guys can tell. And here it is this way. Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my 30 week update. Sorry there wasn't really much to update on you guys. For you guys I meant, but I just want to keep it going because I started at 26 weeks telling you guys I'm going to keep going all the way. So I want to maintain that so that way you guys can follow along and kind of already know what's going on. And then my, de my deliver and labor video. So stuff like that, I just want to keep jot it down here and keep from memories um, so yes I'll be filming as much as I can I hope the doctor lets me film from behind if he doesn't let me film well, I'm not I don't want to show you guys this way but I will show you guys this way and obviously when he's pulled out and stuff so um, just pray for me guys these are my last m months of being pregnant keep me in your prayers keep baby in your guys's prayers and um, I can't wait to start talking to you guys about my birthing plan and stuff like that, so I'll catch you guys in my next vlog or my next video. Bye.